Hello guys, how we doing? Welcome back to the Free Hammers. I left it um, 12 hours or whatever it is now, 14 hours to do the review because I was worried that if I did it straight away after the game, you know, my language would have gone against the morals of our channel, you know. Um, that was disappointing yesterday. I don't want to be too negative on here, you know, because, oh, we haven't hit the top four. Do you know what I mean? It's we need to put into perspective where we are as a football club. You know, we if we do finish anywhere between 7th, 6th, 7th and 8th, it's, it's a fantastic season and progress on last year. It's just, you know, it's just frustrating that you get a performance of that standard when you have got the chance to go and grab it, you know. Um, Bowen came in, came back in for Fredericks. That was sort of the only change of any accord. Um, they... Fulham, you know, we're just so good at pressing us. They give us no time. Their passing is so good as well. That the way they pass the ball about it, they play some lovely, lovely football. Um, they just lack quality in terms of finishing. You know, if, if that was Manchester United, for example, who we play on Tuesday, playing that sort of football, that would have been five or six out of sight. Um, we look really lethargic. Most of the game, nearly the whole game, to be honest, you're barring about five minutes of the second half. Uh, we didn't look like we had the energy to press. A lot of players didn't look up for it. Um, Antonio certainly, you know, didn't have the energy or the legs to press. Um, we was too quick when we was in, in in possession. We were panicking. I wouldn't say we was too quick. If anything, we were slow. We wasn't pinging it like we were against Aston Villa. Um, but that was a lot to do with. You know, the way Fulham played, you know, any time Ben Rama, Lingard got the ball, there was two, three men around him, so it was very hard for him to do anything. Ben Rama was probably, you know, a slight shining light in the game, but um, really poor, really, really poor, lacklustre performance. You know, it happens, you know, it happens through the season. Um, second half, like I say, we came out a little bit better for a little while. Um, Soufal had a great header, you know, he, he, he Got, got up really, really well to have that header. Um, so check out his one as well. Um, they had some really good chances. Um, Loftus-Cheek was absolutely running things. Whenever he plays against us, he looks like bloody prime Pele or something like that, or Yaya Torre. He really bullies um, Rice every time he's come up against him, Rice. Um, I think they over-flooded our midfield as well. I think, you know, we could have done with Fennell's in there just to have a little bit more in there. I think the two in midfield were getting a slightly overrun. Bowen was non-existent for most of the game. Um, and then obviously uh, the main two talking points of the game was Antonio. Obviously I see it as well. He signalled like that. Um, you know, he felt a little twinge and then he was giving it a little pinch, weren't he? In the corner, he stayed on for about another three minutes. Um, he walked off, which is, you know, a good thing. I do think, you know, at this point, I've seen a couple of channels as well. Say that I don't think he can play two games, you know, the way with the amount of games that are coming thick and fast, I don't think he can play that amount of games. And then that's where the frustration lies in terms of the fact that we didn't buy a striker, you know. Um, and Odebeck, who wasn't on the bench, I know he played, you know, the day before, but still, you know, you were relying on Yarmolenko to go up front. And then um, he brought on Fredericks up right, Fredericks for uh, Antonio, didn't he? And then, you know, he totally shuffling the pack all around the place and it just come a bit of a mess in the end. Um, and obviously, the red card, which was an absolute joke. You know, Mike Dean, we all said, listen, I'm just repeating what everyone else is saying. He loves drama. He loves being part of it. As soon as he went over to the monitor, I looked at my dad and my brother-in-law and I said, he's off, he's off. Whatever, whether he's innocent or not, He's off because he just loves the drama. He loves, you know, he loves doing that with a red card. Then he's like frolicking and dancing over. It's just the way he is. An absolute corrupt referee. Just loves the drama. Love. It's just an absolute joke. Um, I'm not saying that would have affected the result in any way. Um, to be honest with you, we're, we're quite lucky we got a point in that game. And I'm happy. I respect the point now. Um... We need to appeal that red card now, um, today, last night, whenever you can do it. Um, if it doesn't get overturned, it's an absolute joke. Um, and it would just be them protecting Mike Dean. Uh, we need Socek. 
we need Antonio fit and you know if the red card is not overturned it starts you know exposing what we all knew anyway you know that we're very weak in centre midfield and we're very weak up front if Antonio doesn't come back you know fit for Tuesday night um, we go on from here you know we've got the Massive cup game, hopefully we're up for it on Tuesday night. And maybe, maybe some of the players that was in the head, maybe that was some of the lethargic performance. Maybe they were thinking we'll save our legs for the uh, Manchester United game. Who knows? Um, and then obviously after that, it's Sheffield United at the weekend. But it's, it's just disappointing, you know. But again, you can't fully blame the team. Some of it is down to the lack of squad depth and the lack of options. Those guys out there have played a hell of a lot of football, you know, Saturday, Wednesday, Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Sunday, Tuesday. You know, it's a lot of football at the minute and we're not... The first 11 doesn't change that much. So, you know, at this stage of the season, I'm hoping that fitness is not the thing that kills off our good run now. You know, I hope, um, you know, we can just... We can change it a bit and, you know, give players take players off at key points because we are really really thin and you know if fitness is to be the be all and end all of it it'll be a big big shame anyway guys let me know what you guys think of the match man in a match that's a tough one Soufal Ben Rama was good for that points that he was on um yeah come on your irons keep believing I'll be back for the Manchester United preview tomorrow hit the like button if you haven't already subscribe if you're new here let's go